so. Uh, uh, those are the the PMS touch two map we use. Uh, that's the report of transmit. Uh, I guess you should figure out what kind of media we should use to select for those transmit. Uh, I'll give you a few choices. Uh, so, the media which I use, say, number A, uh, do you have clickers? How yeah. many of you have clickers? Have what? Clickers. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> Uh, this map is not complete, uh, there's a hissing thing somewhere. I, I, I'll just put it here. Uh, there's three markers down there.
Okay, the, the media choice for select P as fetch 44 and P and as fetch. Uh, okay, I just said maybe you see that's good enough. So. Okay, uh, all kind of uh, media. Uh, so basically, minus means it's without, plus means it's add. I'm considering, I'm considering the antibiotic with, with uh, uh, oh, that's yellow part, that is true. That's an antibiotic marker on the PMS2 plasmid. And if the cell has that, it will be resistant to adversary, otherwise adversary will just kill cell. So, oh, you said it one more time. Okay. Which media can we use to select for cell which contain both plasmid PSH44 and PFSH2? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And you said that if it's yeah, yellow, which yellow gene that is the ampicillin gene. How and then is it resistant to it? Yeah, the oh. gene which will uh, come, uh, 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 bring the ampicillin resistant to cell. Okay. And so the uh, on the PSH44 plasmid we have Euro3. Uh, that's a likely. Uh, that's the tryptophan. Uh, the gene will uh, synthesize tryptophan. Uh, there's also a replication origin for E. coli. Uh, Sen, that's a replication origin for E for centromere. Sen for centromere. So this plasmid will be, can be replicated in both E and E. coli. Uh, P for promoter. Uh, on the PMSH2 plasmid, we have a HIS3 gene which will can be used to synthesize histidine. Uh, there is also an ampicillin gene. There's a, the blue is MSH2 gene. Uh, there are also replication origins. So there should also be a same plasmid, uh, same replication origin somewhere. Uh, Probably not showing on this map, but it's not really. And so the the goal of our uh, this work is just to do transformation, put this plasmid into an E cell already have PMS44 there. So then the E cell can have hopefully both plasmids, but then we have to select it. Right. So some. When we try to feed, give this plasmid to E cell, some will take it, some probably don't. And we only want to select those E cell have both plasmids. And we are going to use a, basically use a food recipe to, to do this selection. Right? Which one do we use? <coughs>
selection. So, so this 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 is what we are going to do. So we have these two plasmid. We we have an E cell. Uh, e cell uh, has P as that forty four inside. This is the cell we start with, and then we are going to put P and that's two into the cell, but. We are not. We cannot do this 100 percent. Some of the cells going to have this, some of them don't. So this is our experiment. What to do? We're going to put this one into the cell, but some cells going to have. Right? So we have a lot of cells. Right? Uh, all, all of them have the PSH44 there. Right? Then we add the P, plasmid PMSH2. We're going to. Uh, add into the cell, but some of them go to have it. So if, if I if this is right, some of them will have it, but some of them don't. And we are good, we only uh, want those have both parts. I mean, that's we want to measure the function of PMS two. So how do we do that? We use a selection. Basically, so you got to choose a media that won't. Kill the PS, PMSH2? Uh, you know, yes. Yeah. We want to pick a media, only those will survive. Oh. Yeah. And it will kill the other cells that don't have the PS, PMSH2 in it. Yeah, they just will not survive. Yeah, we are killing Oh, yeah, they, they, yeah they just won't believe. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Basically, we give them food. Um, um, for, for example, I cannot drink milk. So if someone, uh, if the Spelman cafeteria only have milk, I will survive on Spelman campus, basically. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so, so you're asking what media will we get to... Uh, to all this cell, and in the end, only this Kind of sell well there. Okay, okay, I get it now. Yeah. I don't know which one. Yeah. Then you can you can do this one by one. Well, this one work with this one work with this one work. Right. We we can do it like uh, methodologically. Let's see first one. We have ampicillin. We have ampicillin, which means the cell which have a ampicillin going to live. That seems to be good, right? So if we have this. Uh, P and that type 4 will be selected. So that's good. We have minus histidine, which means the uh, cell cannot synthesize histidine going to die. As PS, this kind of cell going to die. And MSC2 has his, his 3 going to synthesize histidine. Right, so then it's going to live. So this one is also good, this one good, this one good. Minus tryptophan. Tryptophan is that one. Uh, so that's going to live. Right, so this one also going to, go, going to keep the PMS at the body form. This one is also good. So the first one seems to be working. Yeah. And we look at the second one. Minus ureth 3, minus ureth cell. So the cell without the, uh, only with a functional ureth cell should live. Right? So, and then, so this one will be selected. Uh, minus tryptophan, again, minus tryptophan, again, we'll select this one. Minus losing, losing the promoter, so it doesn't lose selection. Doesn't matter. So, the second one only select for this cell. Yeah, so you wouldn't want the second one because you want the one with the PMSH2. Yeah, so we don't want this one. Right? And the third one, minus histidine, minus losing the same. Minus histidine is going to select this one. Minus losing doesn't do anything. But it doesn't select the PSH44. So this one doesn't work either. And look at the last one. Minus histidine is going to select. This is going to select PMH2. Minus tryptophan is going to select PSH44. So this one will also work. It's, that's what we are going to use. But if A works and B works, why would you just choose B? Uh, because A, actually, uh, you have to add antibiotic. 
Oh, you don't uh, want to. We don't like Cadillac. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Besides, it's East style. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, well, this is what we are going to use. So. Uh, also, I'm not sure whether the ampicillin had the right promoter in the eukaryotic promoter will be expressed in yeast or not. The ampicillin is it's going to ex express in bacteria, E. coli. Mm -hmm. so I'm not sure whether that thing will be expressed in yeast or not. So this may or may not work, but that's kind of technical issue. Let's see if not. Uh, if I if my guess is right, that ampicillin only works in E. coli. So this one, although on paper it works, but in practice it's, it's not designed, probably not designed to work. But in any case, this one great to work. It's also simple. Okay, so like, say like this question was on the exam, and we would have put A because on paper it works. Yeah, but yeah, we yeah. Would have to, But we would have to know that it would only work in bacteria and not in the yeast cell. Yeah, this would, would probably, I'll probably tell you that ampicillin had a promoter with Ribbonol box and minus 35, and you will know that you probably doesn't have, you can't need a Tata box for promoter for A bacteria use minus 35 and Ribbonol box for promoter. Okay. Can do it. Is that information coming from this region? No, it's uh, some of, uh, it had one map, PMS 44 there. The, Promoter is in the lecture slide. So the promoter, we, we actually summarize, remember, that's how we actually summarize concept map. Criminal box, minus 35, uh, minus 10 box, criminal box. Right, uh, the eukaryotic access is coming in a different form. Okay, so, so, okay, so how are we going to do this, basically? How do we put the plasmid into the cell, at least some of the cell? And, what? Uh, what? What does the protocol say? Everyone should draw a protocol and submit at the end of the class. That's your participation grade. And, yeah, I'll write down the protocol. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. If you write it down, it's also fine. Yeah. And the procedure we are going to use is something called heat shock. So it's basically the uh, cell, once we uh, normally live in some kind of, uh, or easily live in 30 degrees, once we shock it at a 42 degree, Somehow the cell is going to a panic state, and if they see a uh, classmate outside, somehow they would have taken into something great. <laughs> uh, this this heat shock basically will trick the E cell to take the DNA from outside into the cell, and then we just put the once the heat shock works, and we just put the cell back into intensive care in it so that they don't recover. And, and then we put in the back on the selection and see which one was the right. So, so, that's basically it. Um, um, and it's the 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 because it doesn't have to be a message to the title. Oh, sorry. It can't synthesize out of the one without the PMSH2. You can't have one. PMSH2 can't synthesize the one without the PMSH2. The one without the PMSH2 cannot synthesize it. So that's why we use that one to allow the other message to die. Okay. So that's the one that's going to be able to synthesize the one without the PMSH2. Okay. 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 Ok
So transformation. Yes. Are you reading up? Oh, okay. Uh, I guess you can read it for me. <laughs>
Well, we're, we're adding this PMSH2 into a whole bunch of cells that have PSH44 in it. But PMSH2 will not completely go into all of them, so it's not going to be 100% into all cells. So what we're trying to do is figure out what cell that the PMSH2 went into. And we're going to try to get rid of the other one so that we can just work with these. And basically, he gave us a list of medias that would help to determine to, or to get rid of the other cells. And I don't know how to pronounce these, so I'm going to call it A. This is in the PSA, PMSH2. But on paper, if we were doing this, we would see that this is a great answer because histidine is also in this one. It's going to be in PSH2, but it's not in the PSH44. So it won't work for this one, and it won't work for this one. And so it won't get rid of them? It'll get rid of them, pretty much. It'll get rid of these. But because this only works in bacteria cells, and a yeast cell is not a bacteria cell, ew, this is not a good answer. So do y'all see why A is better? I mean, D is better than A. B. Yeah, D is better than A. OK. Your cell is in the PSH44. So it'll work for this, but it won't work for PMSH2 because your cell is not in there. OK. Um, Lucidine, I think I've said it right. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't. It doesn't have anything to do with. Is it synthesizing? It's a promoter. Yeah, it's a promoter. It's it doesn't have it. anything to do with. It's pretty much being with the So Lucidine is just canceled out. So that's just like an option that you would automatically cancel out. And so you're just left with A and D. But I explain why D was better than A. So do you guys kind of understand a little bit better? Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Now, now that we are done with this part. And the protocol says we obtain some uh, E cell culture and spin them down, and then we, we have the other cell goes to the bottom, and uh, how we just uh, supinate. And so then we, those are the in the growth cup, that's a growth cup strategy. And we suspend, pull the liquid out. We just have the pilot at the bottom. And then we add the 0.5 mil. Oh actually here you wash it again. Add water and uh, add water and uh, rinse it again. So 0.5 mil something called plate media. This plate media is recipe is at the top. It's basically 40% uh, PEG, that's a basically a large uh, molecule with very large molecular size to, to, uh, to, to make the uh, liquid very uh, viscous. So, and then we have a, a lithium acetate, that's really the key. Somehow lithium acetate makes the cell uh, the cell basically actually take lithium acetate. Uh, when they take lithium acetate, uh, they will take the plasma and the DNA with it. And so we put the cell there. And the, we also put the carrier DNA. That's also part of the to increase the transformation efficiency. And then we 
mix the tube, incubate for 30 minutes. Oh, plate media plus, yeah, plus all these things, 30 minutes incubation. 30 minutes at 30 degrees. And then we heat shock uh, 15 minutes at 42, 42 degrees. And then we uh, spin down, wash them, uh, wash, and then put it in SD minus his minus chip plate. Uh, So, 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, incubation, ah, Steve, I, I don't see the uh, what key, uh, incubation after key shot, I guess, oh, I don't see there was one, okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay. Somehow in my mind, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot where I get it. Yeah, I think when I do in the lab, I think. Yeah, I do it. But it's, it's fine. This is fast and short work. Yeah, but I guess for my we do something. That would make it more efficient. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, I'll play my mind. <laughs> All right, so uh, we really need to get this going. So spin down the cell, wash it, uh, remove the supplement, and now uh, wash with water. So wash with water. So, Oh, you already spin them down. And then spin down. And then uh, add a water ring. Yeah, wash one time. Yeah. Wash with water. Once. And then we add the add the plate buffer. Okay, alright. Uh, so that's because the people has done some steps for you, so Thanks, Dr. Kyoko. Yeah. <laughs> I guess <laughs> we can always find out someone that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Stop here for an index, that's what you're saying. So what steps do we not do since some of the beginning part? At the beginning part, yeah. 
So he did some calculations. Sounds like we just started at number three. Uh, oh, you mean the protocol? Uh, actually, we studied the still front number one. It just modified a bit. Okay.
You don't retake while you get a zero
without plasmid. It's a blank control. You got a centrifuge mm -hmm. mm -hmm. One for nothing, for water. Yeah. 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 One is for mutant plasmid, the other one is a blank for water, water control. Blank control. Take a bill from here. Oh, will it take yeah. a super deck? No, no, no. Thank you. 
This is my right? All right. I need a It's about microliters. So, you know, we only need two. That's what I'm asking. We need two. One for a and one for a like a blank for water. Oh, so we just need two. Don't, don't, don't question me. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Can you open it? Oh, okay. Are you going to label it? I thought it was just accurate when it was at Clumsy. They all got the FSA. 